हाय फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार मेरा नाम किरण पांगोलकर मोर देन 25 फाइव इयर्स इंडस्ट्री एक्सपीरियंस इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज मीन बाय द पेटेंट हाउ इट विल बी टेकन फॉर हाउ मेनी इयर्स इट विल बी ग्रांटेड एंड हु कैन यूटिलाइज फॉर दिस पेटेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री टेकिंग द रिसर्च इन द इन द मार्केट विच टाइप ऑफ ड्रग कैटेगरी इज नॉट अवेलेबल एंड ऑन विच डिसीज दे वॉन्ट टू कैरी आउट द स्टडी according to that they are first discovering the active pharmaceutical ingredient and once the active pharmaceutical ingredient is discovered means it will be uh, research in the r&d level at a uh, small scale and that drug is discovered once the api is discovered that api means active pharmaceutical ingredient will be utilized in the formulation so first of all that they are going to discuss about the what type of formulation they want to make like uh, tablet capsules liquids sterile parental rectal oral what type of process form they want to discover so basis on that they are getting the active pharmaceutical ingredient then they are taking the excipients they are doing the multiple trials in the r and d level for the safety efficacy and the quality and with these trials they are doing multiple trials because of the uh, understanding the product nature with respect to the dissolution assay all the chemical physical tests they are doing multiple studies validation stability studies basis on that if the formula is set up once means your formula is set up you are going to successfully run the process basis on that successful uh, running process they are taking the product to the stability study stability study they are doing the study for accelerated long term 25 degree 30 degree 40 degree on different different type of temperature they are doing and as well as the humidity as well so during this period they are doing the validations also all time all this means checking the stability of the drug taking the uh, stability of the molecules apart from that they have to uh, pro- they have to produce the bab study clinical trials all the effectiveness with uh, their contribution with the research and the clinical trial team they both are working together to discover and establish the product once that product is established means they are considering during the clinical trials or studies healthy patients like 35 to 50 years old they are doing the single dose study multiple dose studies basis on that they will check the uh, patient's uh, safety efficacy quality and all these characteristics they are going to check and during these checks companies has invested lot of money like that their invention drug discovery molecule uh, procurement equipment and basis on that more money is invested in the clinical trials multiple trials bab studies all these studies and so when the patent is discovered fully studies and establish all this process takes a long period maybe sometimes so uh, 3 years 5 years if product is not uh, easily established it may go up to the 10 years so during these studies uh, the companies bigger companies who have their own research and development team their uh, scientists all these team members are working on that and lots of money is invested because of this lots of investment once the molecule is uh, established it will be registered as a patent because the new molecule new drug discovery it will be registered uh, in india like uh, with the cdso it may be granted <coughs> for 20 years in another country 12 years 7 years depend on the country to country requirement the approval will be granted for the utilization of that particular patent but after every 3 years government is doing the audit and inspection and verification if that patent is available in the market for the general public or not so all these types of uh, it, that is the mutual process with the companies and governments all are working together and on this working together they are uh, doing lots of work like uh, regulatory filing if suppose new drug is discovered in the india they have to go to the cdso central drug uh, authority and when this they go to the authority they will submit their product with all application relevant data their trial study stability study bab all clinical trials data everything they have to submit along with the application then the regulatory body will review all the application along with data and their uh, supporting documents 
once this is reviewed all the data is going through the technical committee and technical committee is evaluating the data for maybe oh, six months one year they are also taking the times because they have to check that same drug into their government labs also for the effectiveness quality checks because that licensing process is not a oh, oh, easy process and a short time period it will take a long time once this uh, approval came then the company is liable to sell the manufacture and to sell the product into the market and along this criteria uh, the companies are establishing their wealth because they are uh, spending lot of money on to the patent discovery new drug development and the discoveries and along with that the companies are deciding their prices as per their uh, standard as per their the molecule price and the molecule investment they are uh, keeping the prices like suppose whatever the price 100 10 hundred or uh, maybe 20 whatever the price on the single dose it will comes on that particular invention and the expenditure and profit marketing sales considering all these scenario they will uh, fixing the price but that price should be affordable uh, along with the Indian culture or the your uh, whatever the country's culture is there and the prices uh, or the economy best when all these practices, practices processes are going on they are ready to establish their product and sell into the market once the approval got the companies are manufacturing on the large scale they are selling in the product into the market and the market will be established for that new drug along with this when this patent uh, we can say that patent is uh, expired the approval process is completed and the lifespan period of that approval is finished that time the companies are open to make into the generic product because once the product is approved patent for the particular years only that innovator company can manufacture and market in the drug but once the patent expiry is finished once the patent period is completed that product will be considered into the generic drug and that come into the market then many more companies are getting into the uh, situation to manufacture such drugs generic drugs they are trying to manufacture such generic drugs generic drugs will be very cheaper as compared to the patent drugs because they have to save their lot of uh, research work they have to save their sometimes VAB study cost also clinical trials they mostly do not prefer they are manufacturing the drugs but they have to do the like CDP uh, comparative dissolution profile other traits other chemical parameters but yes the effectiveness and efficacy should be as equal to as as per the patent drug or the innovator drug sometimes they have to establish that their drug is uh, equivalent to the innovator drug and that data to be submitted to the CDSO or the FDA during the license process if that data is not there government will not allowing the license for the general generic product as well so all these process are involved because of this process uh, the in the general manufacturing generic drug manufacturing the process is simple and uh, the uh, cost saving process so the generic drug prices are cheaper as compared to the patent drug now every company is trying to the manufacture the prescription drug sometimes generic drugs uh, all these types of drugs come into the market and the prices depend on their molecule and their invention cost so sometimes we are saying that oh yucks company is saying selling this product in uh, suppose uh, 100 rupees and another company is selling this product in 20 rupees or 50 rupees that type of gap is there so all this gap because of the branded companies invested their efforts in the studies r d research trials clinical trials all this so their cost is high and in the generic product the simple formula uh, collecting from the uh, government or from the other companies generating their products once the product is uh, open in the market they are manufacturing and so their manufacturing cost is uh, less so because of their prices are less but at the end of the day generic product and drug or patent product should have a same efficacy safety and quality parameters there should not be any compromise between the studies and when these studies are carried out the normal companies or the local companies can manufacture the drug in the generic pattern so this is all the way how the uh, 
patterns will be generated, what type of effort they are doing and how the generic product is uh, invented and what type of generic companies are taking the efforts into the Indian market as well as the global market. But these generic products are also uh, more uh, demanding because of it is cheaper and cost effective uh, as well as the quality also there. So these products are also demanding and it will be a good product there. So we can uh, utilize generic product as well and it will be a uh, means available for the local market as well as all the people and the nation's requirement. So this is all about the patent product and generic product, their manufacturing process, their uh, marketing sales process, registration process. Uh, in a simple way, we have tried to explain you. Hope you are clear about this process. I hope if you are clear about this process, you will have to understand how the pharmaceutical companies are running and making their patent product and generic product. If you like this video, share it, like it, comment it. And if you want any on new topic, you can mention in the comments so that I can make a new video for you. Thank you. Thank you.